type of surface you're on. But there is a new feature. You can now push the knob down and it goes into automatic mode and then the car will work out for itself, believe it or not, what sort of terrain you're on, what ride height you need, all the rest of it. Right now, though, it was speed I needed, and with these tyres on this terrain, I wasn't getting any. God, I'm perfect. That looks like a shortcut. That is a shortcut. I'm going to risk this. The shortcut was a steep, slippery slope. Right, hill descent. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa, that's steep. No, I'm losing it. No, I'm not. Whoa! Oh, God, he's right there. And sure enough... Yes, take that Robocop. <laughs> And things could only get better, because ahead of me lay a fast, sandy track. Whee! This is the 510 horsepower supercharged Range Rover. You'd be mad to buy this one in Britain. It's so thirsty. Makes sense out here, though, and it makes sense doing this. Idea where Robocop is. But he ain't going as fast as this. Sadly, Robocop didn't need to. Because the boffins back at base switched to drone mode, remotely deflated the tyres for better grip in tricky conditions, and ordered it to take a shortcut of its own over even rougher ground. Back on the sand track, I was at least reaping the benefits of the Range Rover's 400 kilogram diet. Hang on a quick downshift for the sandy hairpin. Look at that, it's beautiful. But the Terramax's shortcut had put it ahead, and now the terrain was even more in its favour. going fast, but it is utterly relentless. It just goes. 